Oh, welcome to another video from Dr. Lock. Um, I'm going to show you something that you're probably never going to see unless you're a multi locker M25 dealer. It's must keying software uh, using must piece. And the reason I'm showing you is because it's a kind of interesting must keying software. It's a very small uh, amount of uh, file, like it's very small, but it does do the job and it does it quite effectively. So I'm going to walk you through now and do a little system with you and show you some of the features of it and um, give you a bit of an idea on what it can actually do. It's pretty much just for locksmiths so they can compare it against other ProMaster and different types of master keying software that you're using and it's just a, uh, a comparative and of interest type of video. So we'll give this, um, this job a system number, there we go, we'll give it a name, nice simple name, we can put our details in here as you can see. Next box here we've got uh, mechanical, electronic, we're just going to stick with mechanical for now. Profile, we're pretty much right, we can stick with that one. Uh, interactive, Interactive Plus, MT5, MT5 Plus, Classic, uh, 7x7, Classic Pro, and a few other ones there as you can see. So we don't do MT5, we just do in Interactive Plus, so we're just going to stick with that at this stage. There's a couple of different ways of designing this mask key system. You can do matrix or you can do tree. Um, both are effective. Um, there's one that actually allows you to re-edit it later on. And to be honest with you, I'm still finding all the little bugs and features with this software as well. So I'm just kind of walking you through it and showing you uh, what I know of it and how cool it is to kind of use. So quantity of keys, we're doing four keys, we're doing four cylinders and we're going to give them a bit of a name here. Now one thing, it's a bit of a, like a DOS program type thing and the windows and things aren't great but they do work. So key, na, key, sorry, key mark, we're going to go G, grand master key, we're going to go master key, we're going to go key one and we're going to go key two. So for a lot of locksmiths you'll probably be able to follow along here. And we're going to go uh, front, uh, we're going to go back and we're going to go office and we're going to go boss. Some very general terms for you to be able to understand what I'm doing here. Looking on the left here, we have our keys, we have our cylinders written up here. We can scroll up and down here to kind of see where they are there. You can see this around here. So we're going to go Grandmaster Key, and of course the Grandmaster Key works everything. So we're going to push space bar, space bar, space bar, space bar. It's got an X in indicating that it'll work that particular lock. Now the Grand, sorry, the Master Key, we want to work the front door, the back door, the office, but not the boss's office. And then we've got Key 1, which is for somebody to come in and open and close the business and then we've got a, a side door which is let's say a storage room which is just operating on key two that way uh, people can deliver the stock of the morning so there's our key system and we've pretty much designed it a four level key system four cylinders four doors uh, from there we need to um, solve the problem well for, sorry first of all we need to select where we want to start the key at and we'll just start it um, pretty much there uh, number of chambers, we're going to use three chambers, starting level, solve the request. See, we, we really don't need to do too much of this, we can just pretty much push the solve. It's supposed to all the mask key depths, okay. Once all the mask key depths, let's just start with just a few of them here. There we go, and solve. Okay, we must save it now, let's save it. It's D, 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 save, save in process. Now it's calculating the actual um, system and we can go to print log and um, print it out if we wish or we can go continue so let's just go continue one solution was found one chamber five side pins so with uh, this particular type of keying system it actually uses uh, pins inside pins and also it uses side pins as well so I'd like to show you the solution if I can Okay, we don't want to print it, continue. Okay, here's the solution. So this is basically our pinning chart, if you can see it here. Um, version of software, fine. Um, the name of it, our system number, the customer, the locksmith, the profile, um, who we are when we did it. 
our level of keys. Here's our key and combinations as you can see right here. These little X's indicate side pins. So the grandmaster key will be using will basically be cut, allowing it to use all five side pins and the other ones won't. But take note they don't use just one level of type of security. Like in a normal um, pin tumbler lock you would have like one chamber where a two works and an eight doesn't. In this type of keying system they actually use two levels so not only are they using the pins they're using the actual side pins as well so they use like two levels of defense on it now here's our keying charts they're very simple to follow along there's your pins a1 a is the outer one is the inner the x indicates the side uh, side pin so they're very easy to key up they're not hard at all uh, coming down here we can see our matrix and probably just key numbers down the bottom. There we are. So that's just a very quick video on how long it took to create um, a very simple system. Um, it calculated it all for me. It's not the type of uh, system where you'd kind of just pull numbers out of your hat and uh, worry about rotating constant or worry about phantom keys, things like that. You just plot in what you need, uh, do the little matrix, hit calculate, it pumps you out a solution um, complete and you don't have to worry about anything else. Uh, this software uh, wasn't expensive actually, um, it's a very small program but it's only reserved for uh, dealers of those particular profiles of keys. So if you are a dealer of those particular profiles of keys you get the software. But it is a very good interesting look at how things are done um, on a different level on a different system. Uh, most people are used to using uh, ProMaster or MasterKey programs um, so they don't have a system kind of like this and you have to plot in numbers and, and do things. So it is interesting and um, that's Mast Masterpiece by uh, Multilock uh, which also does the MT5 as well. I think also it's all owned by Asa Abloy these days. So um, yeah, that's how a master key system is designed. There's no limit here, we could go quite large, we can even bring in electronic keys bringing into the equation as well. If you've enjoyed this, um, please leave a like and thanks for watching.